July 1st is a day New Mexico State had circled on its calendar since 2021. That's because today is the day NMSU officially enters Conference USA. So with the Aggies now in CUSA, things get a bit interesting, not only for the Aggies, but for their friends right down I-10. Take a look. After nearly two decades as a member of the Western Athletic Conference, today, New Mexico State officially joined Conference USA. It is a big deal for our entire department, and uh, it's a great milestone, and it's the officially first day, so I think everybody's excited about it. NMSU's move into Conference USA is one that helps all of its athletic programs, but it's football that gets the biggest lift of them all. After being an independent since 2018, NMSU is now in a FBS conference. Financially, that means NMSU will receive more money from the college football playoff revenue distribution. NMSU will go from earning the CFP minimum of $300,000 in 2022 to a payout that will likely be around $2 million in 2023 and beyond as a member of CUSA. Second year head coach Jerry Kill has said multiple times he would not have come to NMSU if the Aggies had not secured a spot in Conference USA. It puts you in the game, so to speak, and I want to be in the game. Our players want to be in the game. You want a chance to win a conference championship. You want to do those things. Now we're in one of those conferences where the money to be shared is exponentially higher than, you know, the rest of the conferences. So I think we're in an elite position now. CUSA's new five-year television deal with CBS Sports Network and ESPN will give league members the chance to show out on the national stage, especially when it comes to a majority of the league's football games in October being played midweek. The new deal gives most of the university's athletic programs a chance to be seen by more eyeballs across all platforms. That, along with the aspect of increased competition, excites everyone at NMSU. The WAC is so underrated and a lot of really good players and coaches. But then Conference USA, I feel, is another step up. There's a real appetite for, for college baseball in the South. To be a part of a conference where you're going to get to provide players that opportunity and that experience, that, that's all you can ask for as a coach. NMSU's move to Conference USA also puts them in the same conference with rival UTEP for the first time since 1961. It's really remarkable. In, in some ways, it's a shame that universities that are this close together haven't been in a similar league, you know, since the 60s. Obviously, I think this is gonna add some additional emphasis to our games that we play with New Mexico State. It's not just gonna be a bragging rights thing. It's going to also count in all of our standings. So I think there's gonna be that added cherry on top that the games are now gonna mean a little bit more because it's gonna determine, you know, your standing in conference or perhaps conference championships. How exciting. I cannot wait for those UTEP and New Mexico State games. That rivalry just got 10 times better than it already is. From